With your CIG TV News update, I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us. The upgrade from the former 800 megahertz radio system to the new modern Motorola P25 public safety radio communication system has now integrated all public safety radio users on a common platform to enable greater interagency cooperation and collaboration. In keeping with this government's stated objective to build a stronger, safer community and communities and to provide support for the most vulnerable within the Cayman Islands as part of the 2018-2019 strategic policy statement. Today's opening ceremony marks the achievement of the critical goal of enhanced capability and interoperability for all re first responder agencies. The Honorable Tara Rivers there at Wednesday's official opening of the new West Bay radio bunker and rollout of the new public safety radio communication system. Now, the Cayman Islands is now home to the most modern radio system for public safety and emergency communications in the entire region. The mission critical radio system, its infrastructure and accompanying accessories have been installed at various locations across all three Cayman Islands. Well, the annual storyboard competition is now open and organizers are looking forward to seeing the creativity of Cayman's younger readers on display. A GIS press release states that the public is invited to come out and support the students, an initiative spearheaded by the Cayman Islands Information Professionals and sponsored by the Cayman Islands Public Library, Library Service and Rotary Sunrise. The competition drives or gives students the opportunity to share their favorite books through a storyboard display. All storyboards must be registered and delivered to the Georgetown Public Library by 2 p.m. next Monday, the 18th of February. And the exhibition, judging and prize giving ceremony will take place at the same location on the 23rd of February, starting at 10 in the morning. Now, the storyboards will be judged on guidelines that include plot summary, issues of conflict, the author's purpose, tone and mood, and how that information is expressed in terms of clarity, creativity, thoroughness, interest evoked and quality. Now, for more information about the 7th Annual Storyboard Competition, you can email Paul Robinson on paul.robinson at gov.ky or call 244-6108 or visit Information Professionals on Facebook. In other news, on Wednesday this week, I had the pleasure of meeting with students taking a work skills class at the Cayman Islands Further Education Center, or SIFAG. Now, the topic of discussion was learning from more experienced people, determination, and perseverance. I explained to the students that the importance of going for what you want and being determined to use all the tools, talents, resources, and support that they have to have successful careers, as well as to get through life in general. The students also took the opportunity to ask me questions during a short Q&A session. The goal of the class is to help prepare the students for life beyond school. And that ends today's news update here on CIG Television. If you missed it, you can go to the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page as well as the CIG Television YouTube channel. I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining me, inviting you back here again tomorrow. Until then, have a great night. The Esterly Tibbetts Highway three-lane roundabout is ready for drivers. It's time to make sure you know how to use it. First, know which exit you need to take. Pay attention to lane arrows and signs. Make sure you use your signal to change lanes or exit the roundabout. To turn left, you always approach in the left-hand lane and indicate left. To drive straight ahead, you need to be looking out for signs and road markings indicating which lane to use. Get in one of the lanes marked with a straight through arrow. If turning right, you must use the right hand lane and indicate accordingly. To use the roundabout safely, remember these three tips. Know your exit, pick your lane, and signal to make your turn.
Did you know your mailing address details on your land register must be up to date in order to receive notices on new development which may impact you? Visit Lands and Survey Department to check your mailing address is correct. Did you know that walls, fences located along the road require planning permission no matter the height? You should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required. Did you know that fences and walls within the high water setback require planning permission no matter the height? You should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required. Did you know that a trellis structure requires planning permission? You should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required. Did you know that a deck more than six inches above finished grade requires planning permission? Did you know you should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required? Did you know that planning permission is required for a sign? Did you know you should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required? Did you know that planning permission is required for a shed? Did you know you should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required? Did you know planning permission is required to clear land by mechanical means? You should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required. Boating, fishing, and water sports in the Cayman Islands are great, but keep a cool head. Here are seven tips for fun and safe sea outings. Number one, use a checklist to plan your outing. Check the weather forecast, make a float plan, and share it with someone who is remaining on land, stating where you're going, with whom, and when you're expected to return. Visit your nearest marine supply store to get your safety gear. This includes signaling mirrors, whistles, and a flare kit. It's also very important to have onboard flotation devices and life vests for each person. There are different types of vests. Some are for water sport activities such as snorkeling and others are for going on offshore boating or on fishing trips. Number two, these items can be lifesavers in case of an accident or bad weather. Number three, use a motor kill switch, especially if you're boating alone. In case of a leak or breakdown, always stay with the boat until help arrives. If you capsize, an emergency beacon or locator device can send a distress signal to inform the authorities of your location. Larger flares will indicate distress to a boat, airplane, or search and rescue officials. Number four. In addition to sunscreen, food, and beverages, it would be smart to have a cell phone. Make sure your marine radio works. Cayman boaters use channel 16 to communicate. Number five. Also, don't forget your anchor and sufficient rope. Number six. Boat operators should be familiar with the local waters and reefs, as well as the capabilities and functions of the vessels they are using. Always obey the rules of the sea and the marine environment and have courtesy for others. Number seven, alcohol and salt water do not mix, especially if you're the captain. Some useful contact numbers are 911. The RCIPS Marine Base is 649-7710 and the Port Authority is 949-2055. Smooth sailing, all. Did you know that planning permission is required for an addition, alteration, or any material change to your house? The 10% rule no longer exists. Did you know you should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required? <music>